Do you know what I do today? I got hit off the wall. Yes, I do. Kitty, do you know what I do today? Hmm. Alright, we're both in for Jurassic World Home Game now. Hey, real quick, I wanted to do this for a joke. The girls, I bugged them to death for it. Uh, this is a joke I, admit, I did years ago. What happened to the Baptist church and the Baptist preacher? No idea. Nothing. This guy wasn't Catholic. <laughs> It's a submarine. Feels awfully like a mech. Close the doors. Green one, I gotta close the gate. Get out of here. Understood. We're heading now.
Like, I like this guy. Try and collect that thing's tooth. Holy cow. What are you? I didn't see you on the island. I'll just go on the other side and grab it. That raptor in his mind is thinking, is it really this easy? This would be a violent death, isn't it? Oh. Yep. <laughs> that thing just smile. <laughs> it looks like it just smiled.
dinosaur. I imagine that's what it would be. Forget it opening any doors from the inside. That thing can open a window from the outside. Upside down. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
she remembers. Oh, and these guys. Oh! <laughs> This on. Oh great, we have we got copies. Oh! Oh! That's a bad idea. It's a very bad idea. Very bad. Oh. Rex is gonna come in, isn't she? Oh. oh, he's still alive. It's gonna be Rexy, isn't it? <laughs> oh. Oh, is this how it's gonna be? <laughs> oh. Oh. Copies or Carno. Oh my gosh. Oh! Yeah! <laughs> I knew it! Oh. This is Rexy's kingdom now! No more hybrids. That's what she had to say about that. Bye, Daddy. How many times do you have to see the evidence? How many times must the point be made? We're causing our own extinction. We're recapture most. Too many red lines have been crossed. Dracosaurus, Rhosaurus, Carnotaurus, Stracosaurus, that's Stracosaurus. Avarice and political megalomania. Genetic power has not been unleashed. And of course that's going to be catastrophic. The change was inevitable from the moment we brought the first Alice dinosaur back from extinction. We convince ourselves that sudden change is something that happens outside the normal order of things, like a car crash, or that's beyond our control, like a fatal illness. We don't conceive of sudden, radical, irrational change as woven into the very fabric of existence. Yet I can assure you, it most assuredly is. And it's happening now. Oh, here we go. It's been out and about for a while. They're going to be forced to coexist. These creatures are here go. before us. Oh, if we're not careful, oh, oh. they're going to be here after. Oh. We're going to have to adjust to new threats that we can't imagine. A lot of callbacks. <laughs> Welcome to Jurassic, to Jurassic World. World. credit scene we're going the MCU route I cannot believe my phone took that much yeah 15% it was on 90 well, I'm waiting for that after credit scene but I'm gonna listen to all this first I think the only part I didn't like that much was how the Indoraptor escaped that was pretty dumb I don't like the guy before that but that was pretty dumb 
I imagine in a few months we're gonna get it how it should have ended. And it's him walking around the cage to pluck the tooth out. And then we switch to Jurassic World to this. I think what I like most about it though was every dinosaur. It's kind of like Infinity War. Every dinosaur got its moment to shine. Like, even though you have small cameos, they come up later so you know their status in the movie. And Jeff Goldblum. Rexy roared at the end, just like in the first movie. Is there a post credit scene? Yeah, there is a post credit scene. It's the first one. Chris Pratt, Bryce Dallas Howard, Rafe Spall, Justice Smith, Danielle Benita, James Cromwell, Toby Jones. So I imagine Jurassic World 3 is one recapturing the dinosaurs and going to be their uh, relationship with Maisie now. They're more of a family in this one, in the third one. I think the moments leading up to the ending were a bit iffy for me, but the ending itself was really satisfying. So effectively, every species on the island was saved except for the Brachiosaurs. Mm -hmm. But we saw the DNA box are just going to recreate a bunch more, and they're going to be Jurassic World 3 open market. Jurassic World, Jurassic World 3 black market. favorite dinosaur in the movie? The Pachysaurus. The Stigimonk, you mean? Or, you know, Pachy's supposed to be in there, but that was Stiggy. Stigimonk, the little orange one. You want to bust it through the wall? Yeah. <laughs> the powerful little dinosaur. That's basically Winnie as a dinosaur, Stigimonk. Like. Bulletproof head. <laughs> I really like Carno, but I'm surprised how much I really like the Baryonyx. The trikes. Yeah, the trikes are cool too, and Sinoceratops as well. Uh, that scene where it comes out of the jungle and licks his face, you think it's T the T-Rex coming in. It's like, wake up buddy, we're all about to die. <laughs> I gotta rewatch it though, because so those dinosaurs that were in the trucks at the end, so are they the ones that were sold and that drove off first, or were they recaptured real quick? That's all I gotta think about. So we know they drove off with the Ankylosaurus real quick, and the Allosaurus was the next one to be sold. That was some pretty good deaths too. Uh, Blue's kill when she slowly killed that one guy, had her claws in his face. Let's see, Stiggy, I think Stiggy killed more dinosaur or people than any of them. Just ramming into people and throwing them. I'm waiting for the one, the one near the cage in the window raptor, just grab it. Yeah. And even though it's kind of cartoony how the Indoraptor swatted the panel so easily. That was that sounded pretty gruesome. Because you know how the one lady screamed because she was terrified. And then you think they're saved and all of a sudden it opens and you only imagine that sheer terror. What happened to the dude? Rave uh, the the short guy. Yeah. We never know. <laughs> oh we we know that they're all dead. The thing's a psychopath. 
psychopathic dinosaur. Nickname him Waco. The big gates. Big. We, they always gotta put big gates for the dinosaur pens, especially a mosasaur. Gotta have a big gate. Why? Are you, all you need is a little pump station to get the water in and out. The giant, giant boat uh, gate. That's what you got. You pan into Jurassic World. You see the little island from the hotel. You see the thing. Oh no! Behind you, there's two more uh, fences, and then a giant gate for this 80 foot monitor lizard to escape from. I think my favorite moment though was uh, at the ending when he's when he's coming out from under the car and you see the compies and you think it, you think it's going to be the you think it's going to be the lost world and the compies come in and get him like how they killed the one dude. He was uh, under a log technically like they attacked him all along the way in that river. He thinks me the compies, and you see the Carno in the background. You think, oh man, that's gonna be the Carnotaur. And then all of a sudden, Rexy comes in like, heck nah, I'm the queen of this mofo. The, the Brachiosaurus, yeah. I was like, oh man, oh man, the Brachiosaurus. That was that was just sad. My mom's gonna watch this movie, and she's gonna see that Brachiosaurus dying because it's her favorite. Maybe there's something left on these Lasarna. But we saw the DNA vials, so you can always recreate another Brachiosaur. Where are the eggs? That's right, they got a bunch of eggs. Well, actually, well, did they evac evac them? It looked like they were starting to evac a bunch of them. Yeah, a couple of them saw a bunch more. And then the rest of them the the grew up. Yeah, it could have been a bunch of Interactors. Maybe it was good that we didn't see any get away. They all just blew up. Because they still were modifying them. Yeah, they were modifying them with the trying to uh, get the Velociraptor DNA. Funny they didn't have any of that on backup. It seems like a they didn't get it coincidental plot device. We gotta get the Raptor. <laughs> gotta keep her alive. How did they get the other car, the Raptor, if we didn't have the Raptor in the first place? Yeah, well, we got the Indominus Rex because we didn't have any of that on backup. So we had to send a bunch of guys in there through a giant gate to collect a, a rib. Gotta go back and get the raptor that we gotta keep alive. So you can recreate everything else with this one vial. You can't use the Velociraptor DNA if it's dead. Alright, is this the after credits scene? Here we go. Oh, the three Tranodons? Is, is that what I think it is? Yeah, they're in Las Vegas. Oh, that's it. That reminds me, like the pterosaur, and I get, I, I heard like rumors. Yeah, it does remind me that that uh, scene from Primeval New World. Has, you ever seen Primeval? No. That was a good show. Basically, time portals open up from the past and future, and like, creatures crawl through. I'm gonna use my other phone to record whatever we do walking out. Well, they don't have a. They got Robin Hood. I shout out to Maddie. She likes to hear negative. We got Venom, one that we're not really looking forward to. Well, I'm looking forward to it a little bit. The last trip was pretty good. All right, now we're all walking out. My mouth is finally awake. That's pretty good. Yeah, they didn't have a, well, there's Infinity War. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna zoom in real quick up there. I'm gonna log out in the The girls, one really big roach, and then one house, look at that. That house gecko is like, can I really eat this? Hey, look. Got a little house gecko trying to look at this. Let's see. Okay, Avengers Infinity War. Okay. There it is. Awesome. There you go. Okay, had to find a poster somewhere. There's one. Fallen Kingdom. Talk about more in the car. Someone dropped a slushy. Um, initial reaction, because the girls aren't here today. I'm with my pastor. So, we got today in 21st. I now, like I said before, if I don't add that in or whatnot, I think leading up to the end of the movie was really iffy for me. 
like how the Indoraptor and you know certain stuff but frankly the ending was very very fulfilling loved the ending I think let's see I didn't really have much problems what would you give it Elliot rating I don't know I think right now until I see it I want to give it a 10 out of 10 but I think with some things I want to give it a 9 out of 10. Yeah, he's locked out. Yeah, I'm locked out. That was a good movie. Yeah, I can't wait for the girls to see it. I think 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, that's about right. Yeah, I think 9 out of 10 works perfectly. Yeah. We don't know why I was recording my reaction then there. I do, uh, I have a Jurassic Park channel. So I had to react to that in there. Oh, yeah, he felt, yeah. I didn't. I forgot they don't. They don't know you do that stuff. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, I, I, it's all Jurassic Park because I've been a fan for years. So I didn't do really anything for first Jurassic World. Didn't have my channel back then, so had to go out all special for Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. It was definitely, I think, better than Jurassic World. Definitely working a lot of stuff. Uh, the graphics were a lot better. CGI. I think I would give it a 9 out of 10 for right now. Uh, while watching it, at that ending, I wanted to give it a 10 out of 10. But I do remember some stuff right now I had a little bit of a problem with. I think it's mostly... Some scenes are a little too cartoony. I think my biggest problem was Ken Wheatley's character, the Great White Hunter. And I get what people were saying now. Said, someone said, Indoraptor smiles or something like that somewhere. And I was like, what? I just thought it was one of those weird trolling things. Yeah, that thing looked like it was smiling. He's like, oh, is it this easy? It's really this easy. <laughs> that was one tough triceratops skull to pierce the height of that thing. Let's see. Yeah, you knew that was going to play a symbolic in the ending somehow. Yeah. I wonder how to do the video on that. If that's the actual triceratops that was like the first one they bred... Because uh, in the tie-in book, they say that... Toys R Us is still open? Huh. I thought for sure they'd be out of business by now. That Triceratops was the first dinosaur they cloned. And shortly after, I believe it was T-Rex. I need to get that book. Let's see. I had something I forgot about it. Oh, that was good. Okay, so unpopular opinion but I actually the Lost World is my favorite of the movies I realize the first one's better but I just love watching the Lost World growing up I just like the dinosaur scenes and all that uh, but frankly it's iffy I gotta see a second time I almost feel like I liked Fallen Kingdom more than Lost World so if I liked Fallen Kingdom more than Lost World this could be my new favorite Jurassic Park movie but the biggest part was the diversity of dinosaurs, I think, and that's really what I care about more than anything. Meg versus Meg, uh, Meg versus Mosasaurus. Who will win? Fanboys will wage war over this now. Rexy eats lions in San Diego Zoo. Mosasaurus chows down on surfers. Blue runs around eating people's house cats. Compies attack child on the way to school. Stiggy Mollick rams cop car. Triceratops engages in rodeo. How far can I go with this? I don't know, I think Stiggy kind of stole the show, even though she was in there for a little bit. She killed more people, I think, than... Let's see. There's my phone. Let's see. Okay, confirm kills. Rexy, one. Mosasaur, one. I thought Rexy had two She had... Uh, she didn't kill the guy in the first... In the beginning, and... She only killed uh, Mills. Yeah. He's like got a laser pointer thing. That is so dangerous. Yeah. 
Indoraptor one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight kills that I can remember. Blue one, two, I think three kills altogether. Yeah, three kills. Not uh, four counting the Indoraptor. Let's see. Uh, then uh, yeah. Uh, well, Triceratops, Triceratops got one kill. She stomped on the one. Protecting that little baby. Let's see. Uh, but yeah, Stiggy running through. Let's see if we can count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen that I can think of where people she rams into and then being flung. That's thirteen and probably more. Someone's gonna go through that movie. I think I will probably when it comes out on DVD. Just rewatch it, kill count. <laughs> Jurassic Chat, 70. Every kill in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Jurassic Chat, 71. Every kill in Jurassic Park franchise. Every chair broke. He broke a bunch of chairs. Stiggy, like, 40. Baryonyx, 1. Sorry for I, I'm excited for Jurassic World three now though, but because we now know the diversity of the dinosaurs, and a lot of them can really play a bigger part now. Maybe put Carnotaurus more up front, and Allosaurus because it was confirmed in the movie. Uh, Allosaurus is a juvenile, and that was one of the dinosaurs I was really excited to uh, see in the movie was Allosaurus, and everyone was wondering why its, it's head was so small and like all that why its body wasn't correct. So now we know it's just a juvenile. That's going to be cool when that thing's full grown. Then uh, see Baryonyx come back. But there are other dinosaurs that we didn't see Parasaurolophus in the beginning and all that, but we saw that one at the end. So there are other dinosaurs that could appear now that we didn't necessarily see on the island or whatnot. We could maybe see uh, what was it? The Microceratus. It's basically a little two-legged Triceratops, no horns. I want to, and they're like two feet long. I want to see one of those fight a compy. I just think that'd be so funny. Like everyone standing around, all of a sudden a compy come out and starts fighting the little, little uh, Microceratus. And then what else? Microraptor would be cool. I think it'd bring that in. Uh, let's see what else I think. Uh, Sucomimus. We don't know if they saved a Sucomimus because that was the second Spinosaur on the island. A little smaller than the Spinosaurus didn't have the sail. I understand why they wanted to put Baryonyx in. It's smaller, and it's been a part of the franchise since the beginning, from the novels to, uh, wait, no, maybe not the novels, I remember. But definitely it was uh, in the original movie in the park, but uh, and people have been wanting to see it in the movies for a long time. It was originally going to be the main antagonist of Jurassic Park 3, but they changed it up to the Spinosaurus, probably because... That would be a really big Baryonyx. <coughs> or a really small T-Rex. Yeah, yeah, the silhouette or the shadow of it. Yeah, the most. That was really good. The opening was probably the best. Yeah. Of any of the movies. I didn't hear the little sound, though, in the beginning. I was staying tuned for it. I didn't really hear it, though. So I might have to watch it again to get that tease. I saw him react to something, but uh, I think I was... I was trying to look at something else. And then, and then the guy's sitting there on the dock, and he's got the trying to close the gates. And then, yeah, the, uh, you see the lightning flash and Rick's his head behind him. Yeah. And the guys in the helicopter see it. And he does. That was good. Yeah, he saw the the trees moving, and that called that was actually a really cool scene for me, especially because my favorite scene in the Lost World is when Eddie and uh, Kelly are looking over the jungle, and all of a sudden the trees start parting, mm -hmm. like the like water. And you know the precursor to that. And then seeing Rexy go through the trees like that in, in the beginning. That was a really cool callback for me. And uh, let's see. And then the whole thing with Maisie being a clone. And I originally thought that was kind of a stupid idea. To introduce that, but then when you realize, like, that was the whole reason for Hammond and Lockwood's relationship, like that, and uh, 
So when was she born? Was she she couldn't have been born? She would have been born uh, a little after the Lost World. Then she was the second clone. Wasn't she didn't he say something. Like no, that? she she was the second daughter technically. Yeah, his first daughter, and she was the second, the clone. Yeah, I heard him make reference to them, like plural. Yeah, I think he just meant like them, as in his daughter, and then this, the clone of her daughter, Maisie. That that girl had a very uh, destructive day. Okay, she wakes up. She finds out that uh, her crazy, uh, uh, her uh, grandfather's crazy friend is selling the dinosaurs that she loves so much. Uh, then she finds out she's a clone. Then she finds out there's a monster in the basement. Then she's chased by that monster. And then uh, she's thrown out a window, basically. Almost falls to her death again. And now she... <laughs> that was a crazy... And then she realizes her grandfather's been murdered. He finds his dead body. That's... I had to say, at least Mills did something as a villain. Yeah. He was uh, desperate but greedy. That's kind of a deadly combination. Kind of the Dennis Nedry. Yeah. Well, I don't think Dennis was uh, that uh, capable. He was just wanted to get, grab the goods and get out of there. Uh, Mills wanted to stay for the long run. Uh, grab and then get out as quickly as he can and get rid of any evidence. They did a pretty good job with the animatronics in this movie too. The, end of, the hand that came out, the, I know that was actually an animatronic. Blue on the table was pretty good. Yeah. Rexy, the, in the cargo yes. container. That was probably one of my favorite scenes, too. Yeah. The end of Raptor itself, though, and it's a male. Uh, they said that uh, in the, I knew this before, though. That uh, the Indoraptor is a male in this one, so that's one of the very few male dinosaurs we've seen, other than the Buck Rex in the Lost World, and then uh, the male raptors in Jurassic Park 3. Let's see. They also stated, uh, I found out that it's a hypervore, so it's always hungry. Does that explain why, well, other than the psychopathic tendis, tendencies, why I wanted to kill it all at everyone? And it's also interesting that it, uh, it uh, ran on all fours. Because that, that was pretty interesting. And it almost felt like, and I know people pointed that out before, like the, the uh, director and all that, that it's like a big cat. And it really did look like a big cat when it was walking around. It was also a really good design, too. Yeah. It was terrifying. It looked like, you saw like the Indominus and then Raptor and T-Rex in it, but it also kind of reminded me, you know, the head kind of reminded me of the the, the Vastasaurus from King Kong and then the scales like a black mamba I kind of uh, figured at the end it would be kind of questionable as to whether it died or not like he run off the or yeah uh, it's, and then he stomped on the Rex he stomped on the, the rib like yeah no more hybrids that's what she had to say about that she killed one, she doesn't need any more. So we already know you can't put them in a theme park now. We know they don't make good house pets. Yeah. And, uh, the next step going to be trophy hunting, I don't know. Well, there was a tease. There's a new organization called Extinction Now, and it's basically like the opposite of the DPG. It's calling for the extinction of the dinosaurs. Uh, kill them and uh, restore balance to the ecosystem. So, I imagine that's going to be like the huge uh, civil battle in Jurassic World 3 is like, uh, do they, can we just save them and put them somewhere else where they'll be safe, or do we just eliminate them and strike it from our history? It would have been cool, though, to see if one or, you know, the, some of the carnivores ended up in situations like... Uh, guard dogs because actually there's a really cool comic run that Tops made called Raptors and uh, they had that circumstance where their plane crashes in the Colombian rainforest and uh, the drug lord trains the Raptors by force and forces them to be his guard dogs and of course everything goes wrong that the Raptors actually return to the compound and kill everyone there 
uh, on purpose. Then the end of the comic, they actually have babies and they just run off into the jungle. Yeah, the, and that was, reminded me when they were clearing out the lab again and the yeah. drug wore off, I guess he got away again. You kind of have to keep him alive to keep yeah. making the dinosaurs. Henry Wu will live to create another day or die horribly in the third one. Sooner or later, he's going to He's going to die. Maybe bring uh, some other original characters in Jurassic World 3, too. Uh, like what everyone's been wanting, bring in Alan Grant again. Because I think Jurassic World 3 has a better setup to bring back original characters like that. Ellie Sadler and Alan Grant and uh, Ian Malcolm. Let's see who am I thinking? Maybe uh, Tim and Lex. Maybe bring them back. I think you got a bigger uh, or a better chance for a better story bringing them back rather than Fallen Kingdom. Because I don't think they would have done... I don't think they would have done any plot service if they were run in this movie. Goldblum, or uh, yeah, Malcolm, made sense for what his role was. The mathematician, the guy who spoke up about it for years. I think the best thing, though, was... But Jurassic World, I guess, because I did it myself, I watched every TV spot, every featurette, every trailer, and everything. And when I got out of the movie, I wasn't satisfied. But with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, even though I think Universal went way... Jurassic World, there it is. I think they went way too far out with the... Uh, uh, not merchandising, the... Uh, True. Well, everything like that, yeah. They came out like, what, five featurettes? Uh... uh all the TV spots, the, the yeah, very few clips from Spice, and none of the clips are really mainstream clips. They're really off the cuff clips, and then uh, the three trailers. And it's like if I had watched every single one of these things that had come out, I would have uh, been spoiled way too much. And I felt spoiled originally by just what they had coming out on the TV. I'm just glad I stayed away because with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I walked away. Uh, just satisfied. The thing that's what I like most about it is I felt satisfied watching it. So how long has it been between the two, Jurassic World and then the thing? Three, uh, three years. They said that in the movie. Three years it's been. I meant how long literally in our... Oh, in our time, three years. It's been, it was in 2015 when... Uh, I so hope it doesn't take three years. Dude. Yeah, I don't think it will. I think it's going to start up maybe a few weeks to a few months after. So I don't think you could put it years behind then, because, I mean, what did you do with the dinosaurs? I mean, either they're still running around and you killed them or you recaptured them. I think what the main goal is going to be for Jurassic World 3, they want, they're going to want to recapture the dinosaurs. The DPG is going to want to recapture the dinosaurs and uh, Extinct Now, that organization is going to call for, okay, if you capture them, kill them don't keep them alive or just kill them on the spot and the DPG's whole idea is that well they're here now if we capture them let us take them somewhere where they'll be safe where they'll live out the rest of their lives like Isla Sorna and frankly it'd be cool if you, you ended up ending the movie like all the dinosaurs on Isla Sorna and then all of a sudden you see a, a sail come up from the water or something like that or all of a sudden Spinosaurus tease. I honestly wish they would do that for Jurassic World 3. It would be a rematch. A really good rematch of the T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Yeah, I mean, if we, if we know that getting the dinosaurs off the island brings in that kind of money, let's go to the other islands. Yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. Uh, I think they don't want to do that, though, with the series. I think they'll reestablish that Isla Sorna as a preserve, if, if any dinosaurs are left, because supposedly they're all taken off. And I actually made a video about that, but uh, let's see where they go with that. I uh, made a video the other day, like, if uh, Isla Sorna was so abandoned, there'd surely be some combies running around. They couldn't have carried the Brachiosaurus off the island. Uh, 
Spinosaurus would probably be left there because it was an illegally created species. And then you got these several different male dinosaurs that we know exist on the island now, like the Parasaurs, and then all the raptors, of course. Uh, either they killed them all and left a clean slate, or uh, they're just still there. Oh, that's right. But I think the main goal of Jurassic World 3 is going to be the DPG trying to recapture the dinosaurs, which I think will make for some better, for, or, uh, some really good scenes, is the capture of the dinosaurs this time around. Because even though uh, they kind of washed over that in, in this movie for the sake of uh, uh, time span, they couldn't show the recapture of like the herbivores and all that, so they just had them, they were already captured. So in, following, or in Jurassic World 3, had them recapture all the dinosaurs, like that'd be really cool. Uh, get the recapture of Rexy, recapture of the Carnotaurus, and all of that. And then the goal would just be to bring them back to Isla Sorna, a place where they know the dinosaurs have existed before and that they can be safe instead of building another zoo. Been there. Fish were getting in or something? Fish could have been getting in. She could have been uh, like a crocodile eating from the side of the water, which I don't know whether her horse would be going that close. Catching pteranodons would be another uh, choice. She's pretty big, although looks a little bit slimmer from Jurassic World from what I saw. Monitor lizards can live long periods of time, so uh, with the cloned, and most of us were related to monitor lizards. So. Uh, a large marine reptile like that could possibly survive a little while longer without being fed as uh, often as she was when the park was running. Although I think they will probably try to explain that in Jurassic World 3 or open something up on the website that explains it.